Okay, so this is a very long talk, and I want you to understand that some of this is my opinion, but as much as possible it's evidence-based, so I'll give you the evidence for why I, I have this opinion. Really, it's about choosing guidance, modality, and device. For minimally invasive breast biopsy, there's two main decisions to make. Uh, the type of guidance, whether you use stereo, ultrasound, or MR, and the types of biopsy instrument, whether you're going to FNA, core biopsy, whether it's one stage, two stage, or whether it's vacuum assisted, directional, or, or 360 degrees. So there's lots of different choices we can make. Uh, in general, for masses, whether they're cystic or solid, ultrasound guidance is the best way. For intraductal papillary lesions, ultrasound is the best way. For palpable lesions, most asymmetries, uh, most MRI abnormalities, and some calcications. So really, ultrasound's good for the, the whole spectrum, except for some calcations and maybe some rare architectural distortions we don't see. Uh, stereo guidance is obviously what we use for most calcifications. Occasional asymmetry when we don't have a good ultrasound correlate or occasionally architectural distortion when we don't have a good ultrasound correlate. With 3D ultrasound, I've had almost none of these cases anymore. The coronal re plane reconstructed from 3D virtually always shows me the architectural distortion beautifully now. Uh, MR guidance is best when there's an MR detected lesion that can't be seen on ultrasound at all. But sometimes we see a lesion on ultrasound that we think is the a correlate for MR, but we're not quite sure it's probably still best to go back to MR then because you don't want to do an extra biopsy and then, you know, repeat the MR and find out you missed the MR lesion. So unless you're really sure that you've got a correlate on second look ultrasound, it's probably still best to do it with MR guidance. Now we prefer ultrasound guidance for everything whenever possible because it's faster, easier, cheaper, and it's real time, which means more accurate 